Hi, Dr. Theo here. Today's workout is called Loaded Dog. Now what today's workout means is we're gonna do a three minute AMRAP, we're gonna rest for 45 seconds, and we're gonna do that a total of four times. Now within each three minute AMRAP, we're gonna do six deadlifts, nine push-ups, and 12 seated knee tucks as many times as possible in those three minutes. Like I said, we'll then rest for 45 seconds, then we'll start another three minute window and do that for a total of four rounds. Okay, let's look at the movements. So first up is our deadlift. So if you're not using any weight today, deadlift, use something like a stick, feet shoulder width apart, holding it like a handlebar. You come down, start at that below knee position. Nice straight tight back, and then you lift up until the knees and hips are straight. And coming back down, starting position, and back up to complete the repetition. Now, if you are ready for some weight, we've got some options. So if you have some hand weights, what you can do, again, is in that position, coming down, below shins, and then standing back up. Reaching down below shins, and standing tall. Another way of doing it with some weight is you can use your water cans. Ideally with these, you should be able to touch the ground. So as we come down, reach the ground, and then stand back up. Flexing at the hips, nice tight back, and then standing back up. Okay. Now, for our push-ups, couple of different options. We can do the traditional push-up, which is on the ground. Once we're in that position, lower ourselves to the ground, and then push back up. And one more. Okay, now, if you need to scale, come onto your knees and you can do it this way. Making sure you try and get as close to the ground as you can. Now, further scaling options, you can use a bench or a chair or something a little bit higher to give yourself a little bit of a buffer there. So that would look like this. Hands on that bench or elevated chair, coming down as low as is comfortable, and then pushing back up. Good. Last scaling option for the push-up is you can do it against a wall. With the wall, how far your feet away will determine how hard the exercise is for you. So with my feet nice and far away, we lower in and then push back out. But I can also bring my feet closer and allow myself that push out. Okay. So within those options, choose the push-up version that's gonna be suitable for you. Our seated knee tucks, we're gonna use that chair or that stool, and that's gonna be our starting point for the seated knee tuck. So our seated knee tucks really work our core, and particularly our, our abdominals, and they're a great substitution for the sit-up. They're a lot easier and they're a lot safer to do than a sit-up is, so that's why I program them. So sitting comfortably on that chair, both legs off the ground, and then tuck your knees up towards your chest, and then extend back out again. Back up, and out. Now, if you'd like to make that a little more comfortable for you, you can do one leg at a time. One foot on the ground, bring that leg up, and then back down. And back up, and back down. If you are doing one-legged seated knee tucks, just make sure that you alternate between each legs so that you're getting an equal number of movements, six on the left and six on the right for today's workout. Okay, so that's the introduction for Loaded Dog. Uh, for Loaded Dog, we'll catch up soon to do the workout.